Good afternoon, everyone. Just getting. Got a guest joining me. Yay! How's it? We got it right. Everything is up. Hi, everyone. Hi, V. Thank you very much for joining me this afternoon on such short notice. <laughs> Pleasure. Oh. We're talking about something that I think everybody can relate to. My day's certainly been like that, and that is upside down. Yeah, I just don't know. How's yours <laughs> been? Tell me. Um, well, my helper, um, my right-hand lady, called in sick this morning, so I'm big on to-do lists. So everything has got a, an arrow for tomorrow or the next day. That's what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> Oh, man, I hear you. We are so dependent on our regular schedule. No? It's, it's, we used to, this is what's going to happen. This is what I have to do. And then when just one thing can just throw it completely. Absolutely. How, how do you, um, like, readjust when, when part? Like, what do you, what do you do? How do you cope with that? Um, I have a very trusted helper. My very, oh, very okay. first go-to is my essential oils. So yes. I always carry citrus bloom is like my go-to. This is just okay. my go-to because okay. um, I actually want to tell a quick story. Is um, I had a day that didn't quite go the way I wanted to. It's not today, but it was another day. And that is yeah. I uh, had a small um, altercation with another car as I was pulling it out of the parking lot. <laughs> Okay. I'm sure lots of people have had that as well. Yep. And um, thank goodness I had I had my oil with me because I mean I, I just rubbed it on myself, or almost covered myself from head to toe <laughs> because <laughs> I just felt I needed some calming down, and and, and helps immediately. Yeah. But um, so that's just one tip from me. Yeah. Um, and yourself, what do you do? So yeah. So like I said, I'm quite I like this and um, I like things to flow like I think most people but I think um, I'm a mom with two kids and uh, things happen tantrums happen in fact as we speak my little one is with her Omar she's about to have nap time shortly um, yeah I think it's just I think it's so important to um, extend ourselves some grace and just say you know what it can't be done today um we'll deal with it tomorrow um, and just allowing us that flexibility to readjust of course use our oils i've got all my also i'm also with you on there on that all my emotional therapy <laughs> blends yeah and just i think extending ourselves some grace um, you know we, we put too much pressure on ourselves it, it can be done tomorrow and just extend it yeah mm. i so agree with you and um I take my hat off to the moms because you guys have that stuff also happening all the time. But if I'm talking from um, an older woman's perspective, <laughs> um, our cortisol levels are way high anyway. So yep. it's so important to manage that, those cortisol levels. And um, if your day just starts going wacko, you know, you really need to, have the tools at hand and have yeah. your and your tricks ready so that yes. when it ha when it happens that you that you know what you're going to do and how you're going to cope with it so sure. um, i mean one of the things i also do because i know i have to manage my cortisol levels um is i actually schedule in extra time buffer time into my okay. day okay so that i know if something happens it's not the end of the world there is some buffer yeah Okay. But it's not the end of the world that when when ESCOM decides to do load shedding. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's very important. And I can hear your, the birds in the background. Do you, that's such a blessing hey, to have that space where you can go and walk around and just take a breather and be with nature, hey? For sure, for sure. I guess that's also um, something that, that we could very easily use as a, as a calming mechanism when the day Absolutely. just goes upside down. 
Do you outside. ever do grounding? Do you walk, obviously, barefoot and lie on, on the grass? Because you know that's so amazing as well. It is. It's, it's one of my favorite methods. I'm really glad you're talking about that because um, walking around barefoot um, has been shown um, yes. scientifically, actually, that yeah. it really works very, very well for our bodies. And um, it's, it's something that is so easy. It's free. This is what Absolutely. I find so amazing. It's free. Absolutely. It's free. It's free. No, for sure. Hugging a tree as well. <laughs> Mine is a acacia. I think um, <laughs> it's, it's a little harder to hug an acacia than it is to hug an oak tree, for example. Yeah. Yes. A bit, a bit thorny, eh? Yeah? Like a little bit yes. of a thorny tree. <laughs> no, for sure. For sure. Yeah, no, I mean, the... I have to say the load shedding just drives me absolutely bonkers. And, and um, I guess it depends on your, your, your personality type. I'm somebody that really likes things to be quite structured. Yeah. And when things um, like the, the load shedding schedule was um, announced last night, I think. And the next minute, everything goes off in my house. And I just think, what? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? This for wasn't sure. planned. This is not me. I'm... Yep, yeah, for no, sure. That's crazy. And so what else do you do? Yeah, well, look, obviously I use my oils. And I always say to my husband, I don't know how we coped without our oils. And he always like yeah. roll, rolls his eyes at me like we coped, you know. <laughs> I said, no, but I was like a grump, grumpy mother. No, but seriously, on a very serious note, um, yeah, we use oils. My children know if they're having a, a rough day or whatever we just use them uh, so those are a massive massive tool for us as our, our doTERRA oils and um a big big thing is we um from about hoppers four to hopper seven every day i i'm not allowed my cell phone my okay. son yep no cell phone so i have to put it away and it's a family time and I think it's such a nice way to just, you know, cut off from the rest of the world, forget about what's happening on, on your phone and um, just reset because some of us do things in the evenings. We teach online classes and meetings and all sorts of things. So just having that, that break from technology, um, just being with your kids, playing. Um, so, yeah, just just switching that phone off for a couple of hours, not the best time of day because it's, it's a time of day that everyone wants answers or wants to speak to you. But you know what? I've realized that they can just wait until later on. Uh, my children obviously are a priority. So that's a very nice way to also just switch off and deal with the chaos that's happening around you. I think so. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. It really is important to look after ourselves. And self-care is, I guess, the thing that everybody is, is paying attention to again. So that's, that's really wonderful. Um, yeah. Right. So any other tips that we would like to share? Yeah. So I just made some, um, just some notes, but I think I've gone over that just to rem remember to stop and breathe. I think we don't breathe no. properly. We're very shallow breaths. Um, we're not no. breathing like we are supposed to. So we're mm. not giving enough oxygen into our bloodstream and into our brain. So stop and breathe like, be like really mindful of it. Um, applying oils. I've always got oils wherever I go, everywhere. In my house, in my office, in my bag, in my bedroom, in the kitchens. Uh, and then, yes, a big thing is to allow yourself some grace. You can just, you know, if your diary says something today and you've just not been able to get to it, it's so um, liberating. Just, just, just draw a little arrow. And that means tomorrow, done. And then you can <laughs> deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> I had wow. a friend uh, once who worked with me in IT. And um, thank goodness I'm not in that business anymore. But um, he, he used to work um, in emergency services. So yeah. he was a paramedic. Yeah. And he had a very interesting saying um, that in most of our lives, and hopefully nobody has to deal with this today, but... Um, if nobody's going to die, it can wait until tomorrow. So true. So true. I quite like that because it, it, it means that, you know, 
you have to yeah. deal with the things that you have to deal that are really important and those are the things that are life threatening you yeah. definitely deal with those but everything else can actually wait until tomorrow and people are very accommodating yeah we all know that a day goes upside down very quickly quickly absolutely <laughs> for sure and yeah and for that reason um we just need to allow ourselves some grace like you say do the things that we need to do use our oils use our breathing exercises go outside watch the sun i actually take my glasses off often when i go outside now because the sun is also a very calming has a very calming effect on on the brain okay so um as soon as we finished here um i'm going to just take my sunglasses off i'm going to walk around in the garden barefoot as you suggested awesome <laughs> awesome, awesome awesome i think i might do the same before my little one yes yeah cool. let's do that well thank awesome. you so much for coming on with me v and um Pleasure. we'll have a chat soon if any of anybody watching this either live or on replay follow us drop us a heart drop us a note what do you do to de-stress um have you ever 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 had a day that gone has gone upside down i suspect so tell us about it we love to hear <laughs> have a lovely thanks day thanks for having me thanks for, thanks for we'll, having me yeah we'll chat soon bye bye